Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. But first coffee, um, got it at Aldi. It is maple brown sugar and I love it. It's delicious. Mm. Guys, I love coffee. Duh, did you wanna say hi? <laughs> Mr. Wellington's here talking to me. He hears me talking and I'm sitting on the floor, which is generally their key to come and talk to me. Okay, there you go, buddy. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you and I wanted to share. So let's get started. Enough chit chat. First, I bought this kit and caboodle. I feed the boys Purina Beyond chicken. Wellington's not eating well for me and I don't, it's freaking me out. He's just not, he's older. He, he's very stubborn. Like he will only eat temptation treats. Um, on occasion, he'll eat the greenies if I sneak them in or like a dental because I'm trying to, you know, give them dental treats as well. He'll eat the treats, but his food, he's just not eating his dry food. So I picked this up to try kitten caboodle and he seemed to like it. I don't know. I've been, hand, you know, I put it down for him and he ate it. Now he won't eat it out of a bowl. This cat is so weird. Oh, he doesn't want them right now, but he ate them up. So we're going to try and see if I can maybe put this in one bowl and see if he'll eat it. I don't care, honestly, at this point for him. I don't care if it's fillers. If he eats it, he eats it. He's 14. I just want him to eat, you know? So we got that. Oh, I'm wearing my Not Today Cupid shirt because it is Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okie dokie. So first I found some things. A lot of this is spring and Easter, but I found these things and I think they will be fabulous for like a guy's Easter basket, right? It is, it's called Body, for, Body Benefits for Him. It's an exfoliating buffer. It's on an elastic. I mean, I, I will use this for me. It's a sponge with an exfoliator, but it's, a, it's specifically designed for him. I think the colors are, you know, darker for anybody. And I'm not going to say masculine because some ladies enjoy dark colors too. So, but I just think sometimes I have a hard time finding things for the man. And then I grabbed some men's wipes and these are men's face and body wipes. I don't know what they smell like and I don't want to open it, but, um, I think these will be great for either of my guys, my two cousins, because they're, you know, they do sports, they do all the things, and I think this would be fantastic. And even just an Easter basket with some candy, but some guy stuff, you know? They also have like body wash and stuff like that. But you've all seen that. Um, I found these cups. Are they not adorable? Guys, I'm gonna use them when I decorate my eggs because I'm that girl, but oh, they're so cute. These are in the spring fling section they had this i picked up and then i did grab a pack of this uh, wooden silverware and you're getting a set of four so four forks four spoons four knives these are biodegradable which i love this wooden cutlery i think it's fantastic and come up summertime you know i'm going to be out and about riding my bike doing all the things and i'll be packing meals so i thought this would be great because I need to get my bike out soon. I'm even contemplating buying a spinning bike, but we'll see. Um, this is really not gonna be in too particular of an order. I just have it all over here, but I have egg dine kits that we're gonna try. Who's making that noise? Oh, it's coming from in here. So this one is the Dudley brand. They're all Dudley, I believe. They either carry Dudley or Nickelodeon that I've seen at my store. This one, it comes with the cups, but you only get five colors of dye, which is just weird to me, but okay. And then this one here is, um, the dye is liquid and you pour it into these baggies and you squish it around. So we're gonna try this to dye our eggs. And then I picked up a second one of this gold kit because I wanna double the dye pot, the dye, um, I'm going to double up on the dye and single up on the liquid to see if I can get a more jewel tone or a richer color. So we're going to do some playing around with egg dyeing kits here. Like I'm probably going to do it today and it might be up later this week or the beginning of next week because I want you to know what's happening and you'll be able to go buy your egg 
kits too. So these are the ones I'm trying out. This is the shaken egg. This is just the regular egg dye and this is gold. Now I may not do both of these kits because this is the same dye from what I can tell. It just, this just doesn't have purple. So maybe I'll triple up on the dye discs. Ooh, maybe, we'll see. Okay, so we got the egg dyeing kits. Guys, I've lost my marbles. I've got all the egg dyeing kits. I just need some beverage. I need coffee. I've been out running around this morning. Um, I have a DIY coming up with this. It's gonna be such a cute and easy little DIY for my tiered tray. So I have that for that little project. <gasps> I found this. Um, it is, it's just a, a steak. I'm trying to take this off. Oh, well, I gotta cut it. It's just a steak for your plants, but it's a carrot. And it's very like industrial to me. I love it. It just feels very industrial. That's all I have to say about that. So I just purchased the one. I know they had them out in corn in the fall. So I, I don't know, this is, this is the carrot and it's all metal and I love it. So that'll go outside in the spring. I picked up one of these um, Easter Bunny Ball Shooter. My cats love these little balls. I shoot them across the room for them and they will both chase them down. So I was, I actually just got it because I'm out of this size little ball, but it doesn't matter. Um, they work great. You, I don't even have to take this one out of the package because it's for their Easter. But you stuff the ball in the nose and then you squeeze the stomach and it shoots the ball across the room. It's so fun. The boys love it. Children love it. And what's great is when I have little people come over to my house, I have them play with the cats with this and it entertains everybody. I'm just saying. So those are super fun for Easter baskets, you know, non-food item, but that's for the boys. Um, this, these stickers are going to be for a project as well that I have coming up for Easter or spring. Um, you know, just a little something. I purchased another one of these. I am obsessed, obsessed with these. Now, I had bought three. I gave two to Sarah and I kept one for myself and I'm like, oh, I need another one. I don't wear makeup every day, so I was like, oh, I only need one. No, I use this every night on my face. Warm water, and I just wipe the day off my face, and it feels so fresh and clean. I have very sensitive skin. I don't use a lot of product on my face besides moisturizer, but this just feels like it takes the day off. It takes the moisturizer. I have a feeling it's gonna be fantastic this summer to get the sunblock off. I'm sorry, I just touched my glasses. And now I have, speaking of moisturizer, better. Um, I have a feeling this will take the sunblock off. I don't know, I absolutely love it. So if you see these, grab them. Plus with that color, put it in an Easter basket for somebody. Give his and her Easter basket going. You know, just some beauty products, get some face wipes for her. These are body wipes for men. Because you know, have you ever noticed the man stuff? The man wipes, body, face, armpit, feet lady wipes this package is for your face this package is for your right arm this is for your left arm ladies it's not fair but i'm just saying that's how it works but um fabulous easter gift just because buy them for yourself just get them i don't know how long they'll be in stock and they wash beautifully i throw them in with my towels i was like it's a dollar whatever mm -mm. they come out nice and fresh love them okay i'm done gushing I mean, I'm not done gushing about them, but for now, I'll be done. I have all this stuff. I finally, finally found one of the soap dispensers. I got the little chicky. So I went to a Dollar Tree that I don't typically go to. Um, I, on occasion, I've taken you along to Lancaster. And if you watched my vlog yesterday, I mentioned Lancaster. Um, I was talking to the cashier, and she's like, yeah, they came in and left. Like, these were flew off the shelf. She's like, um... These were hers she put back too, and I found one, and I said, oh, I need that. Um, it smells good. I don't know what the scent, watch out, buddy. I don't know what the scent is supposed to be. It just says sunshine floral. It smells nice enough. Let's be honest. I just want it because it's cute. I prefer a foaming hand soap, but whatever. I'll use it. It's adorbs. I love it. 
and I have never found one of these. Not at Christmas, not at Valentine's Day, and this is the first Easter one I have found. So I love it. And I don't even know if they had them for Halloween, but I didn't find them then either. Okay, I, I don't typically buy these little trinket tray thingies just because I don't need all of them in my life. Um, I sure as heck need that one. It says Queen Bee. What? So I think it's going to go um, in my bathroom upstairs and hold my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Um, I have an electric toothbrush and it gets kind of weird on the counter. Oh, it's, it's wet and then uh, so I thought I'll sit it on here right now I do know from experience that these little decals come off nail polish remover gone but I like queen bee so I'll leave it on but if you don't like what it says but you like the shape of the tray you can just take that off easy peasy um I picked up this it is it's just decor, but it's a little wooden, like their typical wooden sign. But this is like um, a tile. It's a ceramic tile in here. And it says, trust your purpose, which I like a lot. But you could totally, again, pop it out, turn it over, take, I don't know if that'll come off tile. If it's porous, it may not. But you can always flip it around this direction, paint something on the back, put something on the back, turn it around and glue it in. Um, this is very substantial too, but I love it. And I love this saying, trust your purpose. And this will go in my spring tiered tray, spring, summer, because I love the color. I just, I love pops of that teal a lot. Um, for Easter basket, I grabbed two bags of this and this seems really full. Maybe it's the same size. Maybe it's just a different shape. I don't know, but it's just the shred, but look at those colors. I love them, and I feel like these, um, I like this better than the Easter grass because it's paper, it's biodegradable, and it's not quite as messy, and my cats don't tend to eat this if it gets loose. They eat the ribbon shred. I don't buy it, um, and if I do, I keep them, like, tied in bags because I don't want them eating it, but I grabbed two of these because I feel like that should be enough for all my Easter basketing that I'm going to be doing this year. And stay tuned because um, I don't know what day I'm putting it out. And I will probably have on the same clothing because I'm going to film it right after this. But I have my Easter candy video coming up. Okay, let's see. For the first time ever, I found one of the tin items. And this one was even bent and I didn't care. I will just unbend it. But this is awesome. It is called a wall vase. Right? I'm going to put floral foam and then some succulents or some greenery coming up out of here maybe some floral guys this is adorable and it hangs up it'll hang on the wall this is the first metal piece I've seen at any of my stores so I think we're late to the game but whatever I mean you get it when you see it and I have this is the first that I have seen it and what I really like is this is not a sharp edge nor are these because all I saw when I first saw it I'm like that's a tetanus shot waiting to happen guys this is gonna be sharp mm -mm. not sharp at all a little but I, you're not gonna hurt yourself on it and I love the shape I love it you could build this into a wreath and build like something around it I don't know what's gonna happen but something's gonna happen with that for summer so it'll be a little, it'll be a hot minute before I create something with that, but it will get created and it will get hung somewhere. The beauty is my porch is covered. It's not big, but it's covered. So things don't tend to get wet. So I can put that outside. Um, let's look at some like clothing things. I found this t-shirt. Um, it? It's very interesting to me. There are, I don't know if you can see them. I think this may be why it's a second, but there's like stripes, but the, the stripes are the same color and they're, they're in the fabric. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And I just noticed it holding it up. But anyway, it's a hot, you know, hot pink, just a plain t-shirt, 2X. Um, I love to grab these when I see them to do crafts with or on or decorate. And this is a Hanes tagless it does say ir stamped inside 
So that just means it's irregular and I hope that stamp washes out because you can see it through the back. But again, I just use these for crafting purposes. Um, and maybe these stripes are what makes it irregular. I don't know, but I have found it and I like them. And I use them fairly regularly. Um, I found the men's um, compression socks. These are a Greenbrier product. Now, I'm a cyclist, was a swimmer, a lot of walking. I have pretty muscular large calves. So I know the ladies will not work for me. And I don't wear these regularly, but I want to try them for a couple of things. One, um, I'm sitting a lot during the day, so I thought, you know, slip them on and that'll help with circulation. But also traveling, driving long distances in a car, a long airline flight. These are good to have for that purpose. Like if I was going on a flight, my trip to Ireland, when I go to Ireland, we're going to say when, I will wear leggings probably or like joggers or something. Several reasons, but the main is when I typically fly, our flights that I have taken historically are overnight flights. So I'm cooler. It's cooler on an airplane and they're a long flight. When I get to Ireland or England or Scotland, it's usually like six or seven in the morning and it's cool there. So I'll wear long pants, not a problem. And so what I'll do is put these in my carry-on bag and then when the plane takes off, I'll just slip them on and keep them on. And it's really a good idea if you're flying on a long flight to avoid blood clots. All of that to say, hey, I found some compression socks. But I bought the men's because I think they'll be more roomy in the calf. Um, if not, no big deal. I'll give them to my sister-in-law. She wears them. Um, but, and I don't know what strength this is. I don't know what any of this means. It's 8 to 20 mmgh compression calf. So from what I can tell with the green, it has a lot of compression in the calf. But maybe the black does too and you just don't see it. I don't know. But I got the green. I'll stop talking now. I got the green. I found a two pack of the most beautiful bandanas. Guys, that is so pretty. The only thing is I wish they were um, cotton and not polyester. Uh, when I ride my bike, I bring a bandana, wipes my face if my nose is running, um, dry my hands. Typically if I go out riding, it's several hours. And so I always like to keep a bandana handy and I would love to have this to go because it's pretty, but it's polyester. So it would not fit the bill. However, something will happen with this. I don't know what, but I love it. I just love the colors. I think it's so fun and pretty. So I grabbed it cause it was $1. And then I found Peds socks. And I've seen several people hauling this brand. This is a name brand. Peds are a name brand of socks. This is definitely not a Dollar Tree brand. It's like a Hanes or Fruit of the Loom. Peds is a brand of socks or it was growing up. Now these again are polyester. Well, they're 64% nylon, 34% polyester, 2% lycra. These are just plain black socks. Um, when I get to go back to work at my part-time job, I have to wear black socks. So I needed to refresh my stash. These are, they're saying they're queen size, but they're larger sizes. They're eight to 12. And I was like, that is appreciate. I appreciate that. I have a wider foot. I've said this before when I haul socks, but I appreciate a little extra room in my socks. I don't like them super tight across my toe. And so like a lot of the women's socks, especially at the Dollar Tree, tend to run small, tend to crimp my toes. But these are a plus size or larger size foot. Um, they're tactile, soft, and lightweight. And these are, they're calling them crew length. Um, so yeah, and I think they have a nice, yeah, they have a nice stretch here, so they're not going to cut off the circulation. And it was two pairs for a dollar. And I, you know, I have, like I said, when I work at my part-time job at the um, shoe at the Ohio State University or the Schottenstein Center, we have to wear black socks with our black pants. And it's time. Time to freshen up. All right. Over here, I found these wall wear removable stickers, not Dollar Tree brand, made in the USA, Chartwell Studio Inc. 
This one says life is good and it has all the pineapples and the word life is good and I love it. And I think this would be so fun in my bathroom for the summertime and do like a pineapple theme in there or like get some yellow towels or the, you know, and just kind of freshen up my bathroom and it will come off the wall when I want to take it down because they're wall stickers. And I love this. I've seen a couple people hauling different ones. I know there's one with the Eiffel Tower. There was one with like the like arrows that cross. And then only in my dreams, Anna had a really tall one with a religious theme to it. Um, but I found this one and I liked it, so I grabbed it. You can also use these stickers on all kinds of things. You don't have to just use it on your wall. Um, I think also will be fun that we may look at doing together as a team is I have a huge canvas in the basement and I wonder if this would stick to the canvas. Ooh, and I love the gold. So there's that. And, oh, I found one of the bunnies. Oh, guys, I found the bunny. No luck on the gnomes, but I did find the bunny. I just got one because I don't feel like I need more than one, but he is gonna get, or she is going to get a bow tie, I think. Uh, uh, uh. And this is just Happy Easter decor. It's pretty decent size. I mean, it's tall. I love it. I think it's awesome. And I think it'll be super cute just sitting out somewhere enjoying its time at spring. So we're going to have him out. And I, like I said, I just got the one. I got a book. Um, this, her name is Nalini Singh. I have read some of these books. She's got several, um, uh, several series out. And I started reading her Archangel series, her Archangel. Yeah, the Guild Hunter series. Uh, this is part of the Psy Changeling series, which I haven't read yet, but for a dollar, I know who she is, so I can read or listen to the other books, and then I'll have this one. And I will tell you, once I'm done reading these books, I donate them. Typically, I'll like see if the senior home around me wants them, or I'll take them to Half Price Books, or whatever. Um, and I'm also going to be purging a lot of books. I have a lot of books I love to read. I'm only keeping one series because books can take over your house really quickly. And I'm trying to do a lot more digital reading. So there's that. Um, I, ooh, look at this, this frame. I love the square frame. I love how shiny the silver is. I do not love this saying in here. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna change it. I love these, and I would say this is a six inch by six inch square, but I love square frames. I love them. And I think there's, they lend themselves to some great crafting. And this is, there's glass in here. And it sounds pretty good glass too. And then the back has a hanger. You can take it out. Typically I just set these around, but I love the square. And I love the silver. However, I have spray paint. So if I don't love the silver, it can become any color I want. Um, for some housewares, I grabbed these two placemats. I really enjoy this pattern and I think it goes with my new decor in here. And what I'm going to do is put them on my end table. Just placemats. I know they're for the kitchen. I don't really care. It'll look cute on my end table or in my front window for summer. I typically will take that rug out that I have for the cats to lay on in the, in the winter time. Um, and I can lay these in there. I just grabbed two. I can put them on my dining room table. I can put these in my kitchen, although my kitchen is more black, white, and yellow. Um, but out here is definitely navy blue. But I like these. Um, so I thought they would be fantastic. And I can wipe them down. And again, when you have pets, they walk all over everything. So any anything I can get to wipe off is fantastic. I found the Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. This is the only Aline's of the new products I've been seeing around that I found. Um, and I just, I randomly will pick up little glues because I use them for crafting and I just stick them on my cart with all the other glues and I like having a variety of adhesives. Um, I would love to find some of the other products. We'll see if they have them, but um, for now I got this. And this is a brand. I remember when I was younger uh, watching on PBS and they were crafters and they all used the Aline's. And I want to say she had a show too, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Ooh, ooh, pineapple. 
Guys, I love it. I can't help myself. And it has a uh, light. It lights up. I mean, this just screams summer to me. <laughs> Will it go on my tear tray? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll go somewhere. But it's like rubber. It definitely can go outside. This is not breaking. This is a plastic green top. And this is like that rubber stuff. So you could totally put this by the pool. Put it outside. I mean, you know, it has a tea light in there. I'm not going to take it apart because we're not at summer yet. We're not there. But I, I found it and I said, oh, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. All right, let me get some stuff up out of here. All right. Guys, I told you I have a lot of stuff. Um, I just picked up a new pair of craft scissors. My other ones got gross. I use these in my craft room, just like I say, for craft, not paper crafting. I mean, not fabric crafting, but paper crafting, all my DIY stuff. I just needed a pair of scissors I could beat up. And this is a great brand. Westcott is a name brand. Uh, there's a five-year warranty. These are durable stainless steel, lightweight, comfortable grip. Uh, but more importantly, I like them to have to do crafting, to cut things, everything but fabric. And I mean everything. So they get beat up. So I needed a replacement pair. And I saw those. And I said, girl, you need those in your life. Um, I found this Goody brand, another name brand. It's a head tie, a hair tie. So it's bigger than a scrunchie. It's a headband. And I actually wear these all summer long under my helmet when I'm riding my bike. So I put these on, holds my hair off my face, and it absorbs any, you know, moisture that will happen while riding. I like this one. It's nice and thin. So it won't like make my head bulky with the helmet on because I, you know, wear a helmet when I ride and it's feels like it's hundred percent cotton, which means it'll breathe and it's nice. And it's a pretty pattern. Not that you'll see it under my helmet, but I know it's there. And I have a whole drawer full of bike, you know, cycling clothes and headbands and stuff. And this will just get tossed in there. And I know I don't have long hair, but these little hairs, when they're wet and sweaty, trust me, can get in your way and drive you nuts. So this just goes under my hat. I need to take that upstairs and put it away. I just picked up Tic Tacs. Does anybody care? They're sugar-free. Tic Tacs, boring. I found, this is uh, Elf Shape and Stay. It's a wax pencil for your eyebrows. And I thought that was interesting and we're gonna try it. I would show you, but it's clear. It's just a wax pencil. So I think you do them and it makes them stay if you're not coloring them. And I do get like wispies, so I'll try it. I found the Salt Range Lip Balm in Cherry to try. Remember, I love the nose spray. So we're gonna try this and see how it does. It is Cherry Shea Butter, soothing and hydrating, rich mix of vital nutrients, all best for you and it's got all kinds of certifications made in new jersey yeah and it comes with two again when i'm cycling i know i'm obsessed with my bike but it's what happens in the summer i keep one of these on me because my lips get dry and chapped so i keep some type of chapstick in my back pocket on my jersey that i wear uh, because my mouth gets dry and my lips. So that'll probably go in my cycling box upstairs in my closet. I did want to try these socks. And again, these are women's five to nine. They are low cut. The reason I want to try them, I love the ones, the socks that have the um, art, you know, that are higher in the back. I hate my socks sliding down and these feel good and they're thin. Um, so we're going to try these out and see if not i can get them in the men's which will be a little more roomy uh, but we'll see some of these socks are fine and i just wanted to give it a try i love this um band of arch support in in athletic socks it feels good uh on my feet and when i ride my bike or walk or any kind of exercise i like extra arch support i have a bit of a high arch so I liked that a lot. Thought we would try it out. I did find a new mask. And again, I showed this before. These will need to be laundered. But um, I like how they go 
high enough up under my glasses to avoid the fog. And nice down here. So there's a good vertical height to it. If you have a smaller face, you can just twist there. I will remove, like I said on the last one, this tag will come out because that will drive me batty. And they have to be laundered before I wear them. So I picked up that. And I thought that was fun for summer. I don't need a bunch of masks, but I just thought that was cute for summer. Um, I grabbed this little keychain. This is not a Greenbrier. It's Royal Deluxe Accessories. It's just a keychain and it's like a soda bottle, but it holds my Aldi quarter for my car. I know it sounds silly, but I always lose that dang quarter in my console. So I figure if it's in here, I can't lose it. Now, I know that Aldi sells these little doodads that you hold your quarter. And let me tell you what happened. It ripped my nail off last year. I mean, like deep trying to get that quarter out of there. It like snagged on my nail. So I'm not using that. It's dangerous. So I grabbed this and this will hold like several coins. I mean, it's open all the way. It will probably hold a chapstick too, but I'm using it for my Aldi quarter that I just keep in my car. I usually have two or three boring tomato sauce hunt brand one dollar i needed it okay oh i picked up two of this sign i had bought these before but i want them for the back i want to do some diying so and i liked the egg shape i don't necessarily like the sign on the front nothing wrong with it i just don't need it i want this so i grabbed two of them because um, these, we won't spend too much time on. They've had these for several years. I grabbed two. I love them. And I make Sarah an Easter basket in hers. And the other one, I just sit somewhere around, probably put cat toys in it or something. I just think they're adorable. And they had them in blue as well. Sarah's my girl. And she'll get her Easter basket in one of these. But they're great. I also saw Auntie Cuckoo take it apart and make a couch pillow out of the face. I love the face. And then you can reuse the ears. There's lots of things you can do with these. I just love it. I love it. I love my bunny. Oh, wait. We got to do our thumbnail. That's too big. Okay. Now I'm just getting silly. I picked up just a couple of these. They're the It's a hard cardboard or card stock just chalk labels. I have white markers, you know, to hang and label things. I also found the butterflies in this size and I picked up the flowers in this size. So I thought I could paint them and do something fun for spring. We'll see, but I love them. And you get 10 pieces of the butterflies. Ooh, I also found these. Finally, um, these are the coasters. They're hard felt. I'm not using them as coasters. These are definitely getting DIY'd into something like a garland maybe for my mantle for spring or on a picture or pics and then you can stick them in something. But I just thought these were adorable and I love the color. And then they come in this purple and then this like seafoam green. These are all eye soft colors. But I was on the hunt for those. I never saw them at Valentine's Day. Okay, <laughs> because I'm old and I finally saw a big calculator which I need to do my budgeting I have the little one and they work fine but the big one will be better for doing numbers um part of my giveaway I grabbed some notebooks some of them will get given away some will be capped this one I love the size it just says notes and then there's that holographic page and then these are just like 50 sheets of lined paper I like the spiral but this one I'm obsessed with. It says, say yes to new adventures. Again, jot, same thing, just a little larger. But I love the lined papers, but I just love that. So some will get given away. Some will go into my stash, but I love those notebooks. And I picked up two of these. One is for a giveaway coming up very soon. Now, it says it's a coupon holder, but if you watched my budgeting channel, a lot of you asked about where I got my money envelopes, which I made, and I will, um, part of the giveaway, I'm making some for whoever wins, but look at this. So you could use this for your budgeting or couponing. There's little slots here. That's a full slot. That would hold money, 
right? You, this would definitely hold money if you wanted to use this as your sinking funds or to take into the store. And then back here, that holds almost a full size. You can keep your budget in there. I mean, it's not really large, but it definitely is enough for budgeting. So I grabbed one because I'm gonna use one and I got one to give away. I don't know who was getting what, but one color will stay with me and one color will be gifted. Oh, I love these. I love them. And those are definitely for a giveaway. And then I got a paper pad. I was hoping um, that this paper would be big enough for the envelopes, but it's not. It's too small. I mean, I could probably get away with like using it this way, but I don't think so. I mean, it's craft paper, guys. I'll use it. And it's super cute. Um, it's thinner craft paper. It's not, it's... I would say it's the weight of like a regular sheet of paper, but there's unicorns and there's cats. Um, and you get several pages of the same. So it'll get used in my planner. I mean, I use craft paper all the time, so I'm not concerned about that. All right, last things last. I found the cutting board signs guys these are so cute in person like i feel like this is gonna stay up all year i know it says cottontail farms but i have a shelf in my kitchen and nobody's gonna read the sign that says cottontail farms it just looks like kitchen sign this is definitely for easter look at those pastel eggs and this one also says cottontail company egg farm hippity hoppity lane eggs this way oh my gosh these are adorable and they're pretty good pretty hefty for your money it's not, I don't know if it's cardboard. I think it's more of like a MDF board, a thinner MDF board. But you could also pop these little decorative nails off, which I don't think they're decorative. They actually do go through. Take this out and change it up. Do what you want. But I'm going to leave them like that. I don't have any plans to change that up at all. All right, the last three things, guys. Last three things. I found at my store. I found the little gnomes. Look at them. It's gl like glass porcelain. Oh, so cute. You are going, he is definitely going in my tiered tray. They had them in this color and I saw green at my store, but I know there's other colors. This was, I literally randomly found one sitting on a shelf. That was it. And watch, because some of them don't have the paint up here or it's chipped off. But look at the little Gnomeo. He's so cute. So I found him. And then in the garden section, I found the Gnome flags. Now, I have one over there. I, I don't have it out. They're wrinkly. When they come out, they are on like a um, straw type thing with a string through it. But I got one of the Dollar Tree yard stakes and it slid right on that. And that's what I'm going to use mine for. And then I have an extra one. I think Sarah's going to need it. Or it might end up in a giveaway. I don't know yet. But, uh, guys, look at those gnomes because you know I love all the gnomes. And speaking of all the gnomes, I found, let me fix this one. Hold on. I looked out and found like one of my stores had a couple of these. Now I think what's going to happen. So I never saw at my store, um, the Valentine gnome signs. But we got the Valentine gnomes. So I'm wondering if we're not going to get the actual stuffed gnomes. But look at this. He says Easter. Happy Easter. The nose is three-dimensional. The carrot, the little hands. There's glitter. I don't care. He's adorable. And then this is my absolute favorite. It says welcome with the thing. So this is definitely, definitely going somewhere outside I love this gnome I love this gnome and then this one says hoppy Easter hoppy or happy I think that's an O I think that says hoppy Easter and again the nose comes off this little bunny comes off the little hands 
and then their eggs down here. Oh, I found the signs, guys. You know how excited I am that I found these? I can't, I can't tell you how excited I am. So if you were looking for these too, have heart because I found them at my stores. Now I will say, um, they went fast for sure. They definitely went fast. Oh gosh, I've been talking for 39 minutes. So that's everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I hope that was helpful and you guys have a good one. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Bye.